Now we're given cos 2x plus cos 3y equals 1 and we're asked to find dy dx. So this is a typical question on implicit differentiation. So start off by writing something like differentiate with respect to x. It'll just give the reader some idea what you're intending to do. So if we differentiate the first term cos 2x with respect to x, differentiating cos anything gives you minus sine of that anything, that's in this, in this case 2x, put that in brackets, but you're using the chain rule here so you have to multiply by the differential of 2x which was 2. Now we move on to differentiating cos 3y with respect to x, now because it's a function of y to get around that problem, we differentiate it with respect to y and then tag on the end dy dx. So differentiating cos 3y with respect to y is going to give, well, we'll put a plus here actually, it's going to give minus sine of 3y and then you have to multiply by the differential of the 3y because we're using the chain rule here. Differential of 3y is going to be 3 but then you need to tag on dy by dx. Okay, so implicit differentiation. Remember that dy dx then when you differentiate a function of y with respect to x. Okay, now we come to differentiating the 1 with respect to x. Well, that's a constant, so it goes to 0. All we need to do now is just tidy this up and what we've got for the first term is minus 2 sine 2x and then for the second term we've got minus 3 sine 3y which if I add to both sides is just going to simply be equal to 3 sine 3y and then we have the dy dx on the end. Now to get dy dx I need to just divide both sides by 3 sine 3y so therefore, at the end of the day, what we've got is dy by dx equals minus 2 sine 2x all divided by 3 sine 3y. Okay?